this is this is a great occasion. I've only, I've come back for two senior games, sort of snuck in the back door and watched some of the some of the great seniors we had uh, play their last games. But other than that, we are so honored uh, that the schools recognize us today and and, and uh, to be able to be part of this. And uh, I didn't want it to be part of it where we have a. You know, such a tragedy happened up in Michigan State, yeah. uh, but I think it's a it's a great time for uh, the two schools to come together and really uh, see see what's really important. And so, uh, but we're our, this team is thrilled. We had dinner with a lot of them last night, um, and uh, a lot of memories. A lot of memories. You know, like Coach said, it's great to be back. Anytime I get a chance to come back, it brings back all of the memories. And just the two years that I was here, it was so much that I remember, but it happened so fast. So just being able to be recognized was such a legendary run that we had. It's not just about me, Coach Beeline. It's not just about Tim. It's about a group of guys that really believed. And um, you guys remember, you know, at the end of the season, we were on a, on a decline, kind of. And uh, we found a way to, you know, make the run that we have. So to, to be able to be acknowledged and recognized for something great like that, you know, I, I, I love it, and I'm glad to be back. Anybody want to start us off with a question? Trey, when you look back at the time that you were here mm -hmm. and just how this system and Coach Beeline obviously prepared for the NBA, what was your major takeaway of just your decision to come here two years here but then getting to the NBA in this system? I think trust, trust was the biggest thing. Um, trust both ways. You know, the biggest thing, Coach Beeline really trusted, you know, my skill set and what I could bring to this team from day one. Um, when he came to see me in high school, um, from the AAU trips, you know, just, you know, his gravitation towards my skill set, as well as the, you know, the assistant coaches with, with Coach Meyer and, and LeVar and those guys, um, it, just, it just made sense. Um, and for me, being able to play for such a legendary coach, you know, I'll never forget that. I, I still want to play for him to this day. We always had those conversations still. We was talking about it coming up here just now, just talking about playing for each other again, um, if that presents itself. But, you know, I, I, I'll always remember that. At the time, did you think there would be that many NBA players on that roster, even down to Karras, who's just a role player for you guys? I think when you in it, you don't really recognize, you know, how, how great you have something. So for me, not really at the time, but now looking back on it, we did have a lot of a lot of talent on that team, and uh, I don't think we we took that for granted. For both of you guys, when you think of the 2013 season, I imagine you think of all the wins and stuff. How much do you think about the last game and the way it ended, or is that overshadowed by all the accomplishments? I don't think I don't think uh, people remind me all the time about a lot of things, including the block. Uh, and the following, <laughs> <laughs> but but yeah, I, I think that the it block. was a journey. The whole year was a journey, and all of a sudden, you know, we were we were in the championship game, and I'm saying, how did this happen? So um, I, I don't because we lost. Uh, unfortunately, I think about losses way too much, and then don't enjoy the wins. But I, that one, because of the way it all happened, and the way we all, it was a team, as Trey said, it, from 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 our. Our guys that never appeared in games, you know, Corey and, and Josh and Esso, uh, that were on scholarship, to all the way to our Player of the Year Wooden Award winner, they were all the same. They were all part of this thing. Yeah. So, but I don't think too much about it, Bob. Really, uh, that, that that Louisville game. And like, I did take a picture when I was out in Kansas City earlier in this year. They at the College Hall of Fame. They have pictures of every uh, of every championship game. And I did take a picture where it said vacated. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The year for 2013. I think you probably think of it more, Trey. I'm sorry. You think of that last game more, maybe? Yeah, I think of it. Obviously, you know, it's a um, dream come true that you feel like ended, you know, right at the, the moment, you know, at the, at the championship moment. So for me, it's something I always think about. But at the same time, I think about the great memories too, you know, making it to the final four, getting to that game. Um, I still believe I am a champion. I still believe we are champions, honestly. Um, in my heart, that's how I feel. So um, though we lost that game, you know, it, it was great memories for sure. Talk about great memories. 
the, the shot against Kansas now that this much time has happened? Have you ever had another moment like that, I guess, in, in your life? And just what, what is that? What happened in the immediate <laughs> aftermath of everything I meant to you? That was fast. That was fast. Just the whole, just the whole process, even after the, the shot, everything happened fast. You know, a lot of things just start speeding up in my life. But I think, you know, going back, back on it, those were just hours and hours of preparation. Being a kid, having a wild imagination, dreaming of those moments, and getting to a game where you know you're losing the whole game, you're personally not playing well. Um, and you know when you are having such a great individual season, you try to figure out how to not make it about you because you want to win. You know what I mean? And you can easily make it about you if you could start out, you know, on a slow note. And I kind of did. So I tried to figure out how to do other things to, you know, win, help my team win. And we look up and we're down 10 points with two minutes left. Or, yeah, it was like a minute and a half, two minutes left. And I remember thinking, like, I could either lose hope now or just keep figuring it out step by step. You know, we made one play after another. And I remember being at the free throw line and uh, it was a one on one and one. And, one and um, I think Elijah Johnson was at the free throw line. I'm just, you know, guys know. I, you know, I talk about God, just a man of faith, and I'm like, if there is a God, you know, if you miss, if he misses this shot, <laughs> I remember just thinking, like, if you give me this miss, then, you know, I, that it'd just be like a Christmas present, you know what I mean? And that ball rolled off. And I just it wasn't time to think. Was no more thinking. You know, I, I knew that was just a sign to go and, and be and be a big, you know, be a big playmaker for my team, and you know, just that whole journey. I think. That moment signifies a lot about this team and just, you know, having the will to find a way to win always. For, for both of you, I guess, uh, how much credit do you take looking back for kind of reigniting the, the program? I mean, went to the national championship again in 2018 and won the Big Ten a couple years ago. Man, I think it started before we got here, honestly. You know, those guys right before we came, Zach Novak, Stu Douglas, you know, Darius and those guys, that spirit that they instilled in us when we first got here, um, they didn't play around. Those are specifically Zach and Stu, they did not play around. They really had a great culture already set here all along before we got here that probably had not been showcased yet. And we came in and just followed along and I think all our skill sets individually just made this thing blossom. <laughs> I think we all just flowing in, right? <laughs> so one more chair there. We got one more chair. How's everybody doing today? All right? We got a big one today, don't we? Coach, for you, having been removed from college basketball, had a chance to really look back or reflect on, you know, kind of like you were saying, Trey, just how special you had it in runs like 2013? Thanks to, uh, not, not just 13, but everything, thanks to Twitter, where people will send me these highlights <laughs> of these games, and it's like, wow, you know, I, it seems like I missed the, I'm so into the game, I missed the atmosphere. You're so into making, you know, just making the next decision. You, you sort of miss the fun parts of the game, you're working. And so I, I, I get to do it often when a, a tweet comes across my way about you know, a particular game that one of these guys played or any of the good teams played. And it, 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 it makes me sad that sometimes I didn't enjoy it, but I love doing it and I, I try to share it with these guys too. Do you remember this game? So that's, that's the neat part of it. Anybody got anything for the players? Okay, so Trey, have you thought back to when you zig, when you could have zagged, you almost went to Penn State, you almost left after your freshman year, have you thought about the things that made you come to Michigan, stay in Michigan? Um, no, I, I haven't really thought about that, the, the, the process of me, you know, not, the process of me decommitting from Penn State and coming to Michigan. It hasn't really crossed my mind much. Uh, I think more so with the Penn State situation, the coach that was there when I committed early on, you know, I think he got fired and it just didn't make sense, you know, staying there. Then when I reopened up, you know, my recruitment process, 
Michigan was always that that fit for me, you know, fit for my type of play. Um, we had great he recruiting just classes Ohio coming, State. Just and I wanted to beat Ohio State. State. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. Yeah. For Tim Martin's pick, uh, can you go ahead. Trey, there's a lot of big names hanging in the rafters of Chrysler: Rudy Tomjanovic, Cassie Russell, Glenn Rice. What would it mean for you to have your number someday in the rafters of Chrysler? Not mean the world. I mean the world, honestly. That's something you dream about as a kid. I, I, you know, growing up, I loved college basketball. You know, I watched college basketball. I was one of those kids that was running around with a little rubber basketball, dreaming to, you know, make big shots. So, just to have something, you know, and to leave your legacy on something like that, as big as that, at such a great university, Michigan, that would be great for me. Um, I would love that. And Tim and Nick, I saw you guys nodding when he was talking about that. What would it mean to you guys for Trey to be recognized in that fashion? Well, I think it would be an honor. You know, um, he worked his tail off, you know, to get to that point, to help us get to where we need to go um, through all this, both his years being here. So I know I'll be the first one <laughs> through that door where the name is called, hopefully. But not only Trey, I mean, I think Nick, you know, he left his, left a big, you know, imprint, you know, in his time here at Michigan as well. So I feel like he deserves, you know, some some credibility for his name being the Raptors as well, for what he did for the, for the program and, you know, what he left here. So I think both these guys are candidates for that as well. I think Tim is as well. <laughs> He's pretty very helpful. Yeah, I would, just, I would just say you could probably count Maybe not even, on, I mean, on one hand, the amount of players that have come through this school that have had uh, the impact that Trey had, um, you know, especially for me, my freshman year, it's funny, we just came, you know, we just came from somewhere where you know, it was me, Spike, Zach Novak, Stu Douglas, we were talking, and we were like, I looked at Spike, I said, is Trey the best player you ever played with? And he was like, he just laughed right away. Like, it's not, it's not even close. Like, my freshman year when we came in, um, it, it was it was eye opening and humbling to see you know how special of a player Trey was. Um, we used to call him Young AI all the time, and it was I mean I think you guys all saw it just the you know the kind of tough shots he was hitting, the way he handled the ball, the way he carried himself. It, it was very much in that manner. So uh, you know to see his jersey go up in the Raptors one day that would be very well deserved. I would and I would definitely love to be there to celebrate that too. Guys, what, what are your reflections now? Uh, married, father, um, just been in the league for a long time. When you go back and you look at 10 years and how you've grown, what's your reflection now in, in coming back here in this, in this situation? I mean, for me, I, uh, I, I was talking to, <laughs> to the driver coming here from the airport and I, I haven't been here Last time I've been here was when Coach Beeline was coaching here for his last year. So um, just the memories, seeing new buildings, new construction up, seeing what they did to the uh, athletic department, you know, for all for all the sports here. Uh, I was, I was spot came from. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, intramural, yeah, yeah. intramural practices. Like, I mean, it's, it's wild. It's wild what they've done uh, 10 years, you know, you know, since we've been here. So, uh, I mean, I was smiling from ear to ear coming back, from, coming from the airport, driving here, and I had to call my pops and <laughs> tell them, like, yo, they, you know, they're doing it out here. They're, they, they're doing their thing. So, uh, I mean, I was excited. I was happy. And, uh, you know, I'm happy to be back for sure. Yeah, same with me. Same with me, like Tim said, just seeing all of the renovations and, the new, you know, buildings and stuff like that, that just brings back all the memories. Um, I remember having hot practices in the intermill, intermill building and, you know, having the, the showers was dirty and we, we came a long way, we came a long way. This, this university did too, and specifically this basketball program. And it's beautiful to see, definitely always beautiful to come back and see the evolution of it, you see how much it's evolved. And, um, I know Coach Howard is going to continue to keep this thing going in the right direction. For me, 
me, it's, it's nostalgic, you know, being back here, seeing these guys that we don't get to always see very often. Um, you know, it teaches you life is, sh life is short and time goes by quick. You know, people used to always tell us when we were young at basketball camps, hey, this goes by quick, cherish the moments. Yeah. And it's one of those times where you're, you know, we're sitting on this end and it's been 10 years now and you're, you're just like, damn, time really flies by. And it's important for us to all cherish those moments because in the moment you don't ever seem to realize how special those times are. And it's, uh, it's these moments together where we can really celebrate and just you know reflect on how much fun we had um you know just just those moments that we shared together on the court off the court and how special they were uh for me they were life-changing moments you know my life my life was never the same after my two years here at michigan and i'm forever grateful for that I'm grateful for coach beeline for the opportunity he gave me i'm grateful to you know play alongside some legends like this and um I'm, I'm grateful to have put on a Michigan basketball uniform. Like I said, it changed my life for the better. So I, I appreciate it. each and every one of you in this room. I appreciate you. Okay, hey, folks, we're going to let them get back to the reunion. So we appreciate you. I'd like to say one thing. I'd like to say one thing. No, no, because there's some people that need to be thanked, you know, for us to be in the situation that we were in. You know, like, first of all, I want to thank, I was here before these guys. I want to thank Manny Harris, Deshaun Sims, you know. Yeah. They, they definitely, I think, you know, help put Michigan on the map. And then I want to thank Zach and Stu. During my recruiting process, you know, I stayed in touch with Zach and, and really, uh, you know, grew close with him throughout that whole entire process. And, uh, and then I want to thank, you know, Lisa. Yeah. Um, she helps out with everything. She, she's like the backbone of the program. She does everything behind uh, behind the doors and make sure everything goes smoothly through the program. Um, thank who else? Who else we have? This guy over here. Oh my God, Tom. 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 Blue, Bob Land. You know, I want to thank those guys. Uh, but I really want to thank uh, Esso, Corey Person. Yes, great teammate. Matt Bogridge. Scout team. Black McClim Blake McClimans. Blake. Um, Jay Bart. Jay Bart. Oh, I mean, it's, 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 those guys definitely took a back seat in making sure that we flourish in this program. So, I mean, there's a lot of people to thank, but those are in a whole world, John. So I just want to just thank those, those, those individuals for making all this possible, making this program go and getting, getting to where it is right now. Because without them, none of this would be possible. So, speaking of that last group, I found out something. You give somebody some drinks last night, and they find out some things. <laughs> and I don't know if these guys even know this, but I found out for the first time the day before a game. Mm, it's a good story. Oh, it's a story. It's a good story. I might be a little bit oh, more intense man. than other other oh, days. Great story. <laughs> and, we, and we had to finish to finish Corey. practice. No, we played this no, game no, against the scout team every time, and it was possessions versus points. And if it didn't go well, practice might continue, or or something would happen. And I heard about, and they were always the blue team. They, these guys never did a second on the gold team in their life. And so I just heard last night there was something called LBW. And if they wanted practice to get over on the right way, they would go LBW, LBW. Anybody know what that means? Let B line win. No, let, let, let blue, blue win. win. Let blue win. <laughs> let blue win so we can get the hell out of practice. <laughs> But that's how good they were. That's how good they were. That they, every day, those, no one understands the power of a scout team. And it happened again with our 17, 18, 19 teams. Those guys were, they could run Michigan State's offense, Northwestern's offense, as good as they could. Yeah. And it was really, it made us all great. So it, it was really good. Definitely so, Northwestern, Jesus Christ. I, <laughs> I found this out 10 years later. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's the great time to find out. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Thank you all.